شهره Hi guys. Hey, sorry about that, it's my ringtone. <laughs> no, sorry. Is it Missus ringing you? Yeah, she was checking out for where I am. I'll just change this because it looks a bit bright. Yeah. Hello. How are we doing? We're back. Yeah. Back again, lads. I'm a vet. This is Carl. Carl. Is it? I thought it was Zach. Yo. Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> We're back. I, mean, I can't believe it. Absolutely. Been too long, way too long. I'm really happy to be back. Yeah, last time we came here was almost a year ago because I remember you had a Christmas tree in your house. I did, yeah, but it was uh, April. And you got attacked? I did. This is the only place I've been uh, affected by uh, spirit, so uh, hopefully I'll get battered again. But I've brought condoms, I'm prepared. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be, uh, we'll take you around and tell you a bit about the history. But last time we were here, we, we met with a guy called Thomas mm. from the spirit world, and uh, Andrew also got attacked by. Possibly something like maybe a sergeant or something. Yeah, something a bit more of an authority. Yeah. Uh, uh, I uh, no, I was getting attacked, but uh, apparently Spirit did pick up and that we were getting it. So, uh, yeah. thank but you very much, Spirit. Hopefully, guys, you can all uh, hear us pretty well. And there's uh, Debbie, who's in the background on the admin, so she's going to be commenting, and if we uh, miss anything, she'll answer and let us know about it. So, uh, Is there anything that you want us to do while we're here? Um, any sort of readings? Not readings, uh, um Spirit box type sessions, uh, anything like that, just let us know, give us a, drop yeah. us a line. And we've got all sorts of things, we've got, got, got the... Uh, we haven't brought everything, just bought bits and bats because it's the yeah. first time here. And we're, in the middle, we're literally in the middle of a farmer's field, yeah. um, in the pitch black. So uh, like, we'll... Shane's picked on some already, haven't you, when we first walked over here, just had a quick glance round and uh, you, you've got this little massive black shadow just run straight into the building yeah. where we actually, got, the embattlements are. Uh, where the gun is, so if you get if they when you get attacked, into that building there, they've gone into that building there. So uh, that's, that's where we where got the all the activity are. last time, anyway, isn't it? So yeah, is it ever? Uh, there's a few outbuildings here. Uh, there's a thing what we call a naffy, which is basically uh, uh, where they have a beer and eat the food. We've got the canteen area over there. We also they've got some uh, billets down the back, but uh, last time they were absolutely swamped and we couldn't get in the stank as well. Uh, that's there. I've got Wellingtons this time, so... We're not entirely sure where the prisoner war camp is situated, but I presume it was on the hill, uh, on the field area, but obviously that's overgrown. But where we're standing now, it's like uh, concrete. We've got three main buildings, but the most interesting one is the one with the battlement with the uh, anti-aircraft guns, and that's where the, uh, we've got everything so far. And that's where you've well, got that was attacked. last time. This time it's going to be uh, hopefully a bit, a bit better. Too. Yeah. So Ooh, it's cold. So where are we then? What actually was this place back in the Second World War? Well, what it is because it's situated situated on top of a hill. Yeah, uh, when airplanes come across, it can actually get a good clean shot at the airplanes, which is uh, pretty bad for the Germans and whatnot. But uh, what happened once it, to a British uh, airplane? It was coming back for, from a bombing, and uh, it got disorientated. And it actually ended up um, crashing into this site and basically everybody died, and which is uh, quite well known. There's actually a house that's been built down the road there called Phoenix Cottage because uh, it actually landed on that house, wiped it all out, built the cottage again. So uh, it's a bit grim. Gotta say, yeah, uh, Ansem Andrew's looking pretty good with no, his uh, no. stubble tonight. That's gonna go, don't worry about it. We're quite close to home, Firth, and that's where Compo the Tramp used to live. Are you trying to say, uh, look when like he was harassing Norabati. <laughs> well, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so 80. literally, we are in the middle of nowhere on the top of hills. Um, did a plane went down somewhere over that direction, it's didn't over it? There, yeah, by that hill. Yeah. By that folly. It thought it was about 50 mile to the east. Yeah, I think in Lincolnshire. Yeah. And it wasn't. It was here in Yorkshire, and uh, and in Lincolnshire, it's all flat. In Yorkshire, it's hilly, and uh, they didn't compensate. It was foggy. Went straight into the building. It's horrible. Yeah. 
shall we go take the guys to the um yeah we'll take you around i'll just say hi jane uh, hi david hi nicola hi jane again hi jane again hi david hi jane and hi neil hi neil you all right mate Good night, so yeah, mate. we'll just take you around uh i'll let andrew uh lead the way with his torch it's very wet and very oh. cold yeah <laughs> this is where the gun was positioned and it Probably a bit of an armory and things by the looks of it. And uh, Banks has been here, you can see. <laughs> yeah. yeah it is. This is where we got quite a lot of activity last year. It was amazing. Really good location. Well, here we are. You see this hole here? That's where the gun was pivoted and it's shot round here. And it's anti aircraft gun. As you see, it's a brilliant sight. Clear view of the skies to hit the planes what were attacking England at the time, which never happened. Right down here, I'm not sure what this place is, but uh, as been ex-military myself, this will be the commu uh, uh, communication area. And just be careful. Very actually, this is where we got Thomas. He was here last time, and we got an EVP last time, and he was in. As we walked in, in a broad Yorkshire accent, there's no doubt about it. He says, "Hey, oh, what's going on here?" And, and your EVP recorder. Yeah, Class A, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Uh, which is a, a really <laughs> great thing. Yeah. I'll get down in a sec. We'll just show you around first and then we'll go down. I'm guessing another gun was mounted on here. Yeah. But this, this will have been a fixed one pretty much because it's stationary as you can see. So he, he's got a great point of view over there. That there is Huddersfield but you can see in the distance them lights. Yeah. And that's the mess. That's the mess. Canteen. And underneath us, where we actually stood now, mm -hmm. that's where Andrew got attacked last time. Yeah. Again, there's more portholes here. We've not been in it yet. No, not yet, so we don't know. But I'm, I'm waiting to see what's going on. Yeah. You alright, mate? Yeah. What? Are we to go in now, just to see what happens? Yeah, I'm sure We've not got any of his equipment, but um, well, we'll... We'll do we'll, a session later. Yeah, we'll see if we can get Thomas again, who we had last time. It was Neil, what, told us about Thomas. Before we even got to the location it's last like, time. It's a bit creepy. Yeah, this is. Uh, first if I get yeah, so if you get, if you feel, you, if you get a headache again, when like you did last time. Yeah. Can they, can they see all that? Yeah. Well, this is where obviously they kept the ammunition right underneath the, uh, the gun lines. I think I probably just Thomas. And uh, the sergeant who came last time, if you are here, we're back again. We're here with the greatest respect. We're not here to annoy you or to disrespect you in any way. But we remember last time, this is exactly where I stood and that's exactly where Andrew stood when he got attacked. Well, attacked in a way, not physically pushed over, but he got a very bad headache and we had to clear it. Hi, uh, Jeanette from the United States. Uh, we've got a pretty international audience. We've got uh, David from Scotland, Jane from pff, Lancashire. Oh, uh, where's that? It smells very mm. poo-like in here. Yeah, I'm sure a... That's not because I'm mentioning Lancashire either. That's... Yeah. I can tell you now, it does not feel anywhere near as negative no, as it did last no. time. No. Maybe when we start, connecting and whatever it might be a bit different but it doesn't feel nowhere near like it did last time feels a lot more happy and positive just got to watch his heads we'll go back to the top bit and maybe see if we can get thomas again he was very good on the k2 meter last time but we've got the echo vox we've got the spanish echo vox and uh, your psb7 spirit box so yeah, you're getting a bit of a bad view, but it's quite dangerous walking. So this is just like a little preview to what we're going to be doing later on, and just showing a little bit of the location. But this is pretty cool. It's uh, cold, but dry. That's the main thing. That's right. Quite a few people watching. I ju just want to say thank you very much, guys, for joining us. Oh, the likes is amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much. We've only eight no, it's a week tomorrow week. and we're over 700 likes already so it's yeah. unbelievable so it's fantastic 
know, and literally this is what we want to do. We want to bring you locations. Yeah. You're free to come along with us. We're not an events company. We're not going to charge anything. We just want to investigate, have a bit of a laugh. Oh, I'm definitely having a laugh. That's the main thing. Take it serious when we need to. Yeah, yeah. And respect as well. And so that's it. And not taking the, any uh, out of his spirits. And, his, uh... and we want to entertain you in the right way, not in the most haunted you way. You might be able to hear fireworks in the background because uh, people are still celebrating the Guy Thoughts night. Yeah. Well, that's it, really. Uh, Brilliant. Can, can you do us a massive favour as well, guys? Can you all give this a like? And can you always, uh, can you also share this, if possible, if you're not going to offend anyone? I know I, I've, I'm friends with someone who's a vicar, and uh, they do take offence to me doing this, but they turn a blind eye when I do share things. So if you're not going to offend anyone, please feel free to share this if you're going to possibly hit some of your friends who might find this interesting as well. Yeah, really please appreciate do. it because we do need all the help we can get at this early stage. Oh, yeah. So, uh, the didn't realise you're from my near my hometown, uh, Dewsbury. Yeah, not too far. Yeah, it's just over the hill. There. Yeah. Um, if you don't know about this place, it's I've, I've tagged it on Google Maps so it does appear for anyone else. We do believe in sharing. Uh, we believe in full paranormal unity and we will be working with any teams what want us absolutely so we're here yeah. we're here to help and i'm keep seeing things gone my i, I think it's because of the lights i'm not sure yeah. but uh, i'm not making we well, know it's no one walking no. from the living anyway we are but middle of nowhere yeah so shall we uh, try and get in here without killing herself yeah this we need a speaker for the echo box if we use it I don't know. Anything you think Right. Do you want to just grab that for one second? It's facing forward. Right. This is where I kill myself, so if you record this. I am. Thanks. At least I could get 250 quid for uh, some equipment. Yeah. And one thing, don't ever come ghost hunting in your best clothes. Come in jogging bottoms, will cost about £5. Yeah, it's not a fashion statement. I just want to say hello there to hi Jane, Kevin, Shelley, hi Shelley, uh, Nala, Jane, Kevin again, hi Jane, everybody's saying hi. It's great. Um, so, you want to check the thing? I'll get the uh, Echo Box set up and have a little session now. Yeah. And, uh, we'll try what did we try last time? We had the, co the Connect, was sorry, the K2 was brilliant. Yeah, it was um, amazing. But it's different every time, really. Every place. Seems to be better with a different piece of equipment. It's never consistent. I think it de de depends on the spirit, really, what they prefer, what they're used to, maybe, what what they've seen other ghost hunters use, and they've got used to that piece of equipment, maybe. But I don't think this is one of the most investigated places, to be honest with you. What are you doing? Right, Echo Box. Yeah. So, if anyone, I'll just show you Echo Box, guys. It's uh, Android, I don't know about Apple. It's about £17, but it's a very well-respected piece of equipment, and you will see even the TV shows are using it now. So literally, there's four sound channels, uh, phonetic voice recordings, little bits like, uh, bah, eh, bah, things like that are in it. You can change the speed of each channel on that side. Auto-blend, enable or disable auto-blend. If you enable it, then all of the four channels are blended together, and then literally start, and then that will go. But I'm just going to turn on the speaker, whatever it is, yeah. just to uh, make it a bit louder for you guys. We've got a Bluetooth speaker. Is it on? There we go. So it should connect to your phone. I'll just turn it up as well. When you get the piano noise, it's on full volume. So that sounds like it's connected. Is your Bluetooth on? Yeah, it's working. I've got a voice on it. It's on here now. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Is that through this or through your phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's through your phone. Help <laughs> <laughs> me here. <laughs> Dearie me. Yeah, I just put the speaker to my ear and it deafened me. <laughs> right. Right, what happened last time? Uh, we got. All sorts happen. We'll see if we can get anything. I'll get the K2 out as well, because uh, that was pretty active last time. 
So it's uh, we, we're outdoors, so it's not the easiest to actually hold the phone as well as uh, doing this. We don't want to bring a tripod because it's just going to be muddy. One of the other things as well, guys, buy yourself a watch off Amazon for about £10. What's got a torch built in, charge it up, and then you're hands-free, you don't have to carry the torch. It's a really good idea. And if anyone doesn't know, this is a K2 meter, you've probably seen it on loads and loads of ghost programs. It's detecting electromagnetic frequency, and... Uh, it's said to be, the closer I get, because I'm giving off electromagnetic frequency while I'm on the internet, that's going to be full. But the more electromagnetic frequency, the more lights you get. And supposedly, spirits are able to manipulate this by giving off electromagnetic frequency. So, if I stand far enough away where I'm not affecting it, this I'm literally across the room from Andrew, so I can't affect it. This is how close I need to get to make this light up. Oh. Literally, almost. To, I'm, I'm literally that close. You can't see my hand. That's how close I was. So it's literally that far before I made all the lights go red. It's just to show you that I can't affect that with my phone unless I go literally touching the actual device. So that's going on. It's going already, but is that affected by anything of yours? We've had that close, yes. Yeah. And, uh, so just, just to make sure that we, we're not going to cause anything. So, how far do you have to go to make it go again? Come closer. Yeah. I'm standing still. Go with your uh, speaker. There we go. So about six inches. Yeah. So as long as you, as long as you keep away, but that's still been affected by somebody else. And your phone is over there. Yeah, so, so your phone's over there. That's probably the best way, actually. You've got no other electrical devices on you. My EM pump is at home. I've got everything, but I'm literally at the other side of this room, which is probably about, what, three metres away. That's kicking off already. Yeah. Thomas, are you here, mate? Thomas, if you speak, we can hear you because we threw that device on the wall there. No. Did that say you wish? Yeah. No, we can't hear you. I'll stand up beside of this uh, of the echo box so you can hear this as well. But I think it just said you wish. Thomas, are you here? You're getting one light quite weak. Right, what I'll do is, right, Thomas, if you are here, can you walk towards this device just to confirm that you're here, please? It won't hurt you, it's only lights. Right, can you walk away just let me know that, that so can you walk away now so the lights will go off please? So you know how this works. We got Thomas last time quite strong and he was very good with the K2 meter. Thomas, can you move away from this device please? He won't will he? Thomas, why is it's not me, I'm not affecting that. Thank you. How, how close do I have to get to make it go? So I'll start walking to make it. So there's nothing electrical in there whatsoever. No, there's no. There used to be. Oh yeah, I it was. And that's and then now there's just empty bottles and drug pill of paraphernalia. What you're listening to, by the way, is Echo Vox for anyone who's just joined, and it's onto a Bluetooth speaker, and that's Andrew's uh, digital recorder. If you want to see, it's pretty good quality. I wouldn't really. This one rec recommended by Neil uh, from KSI. But there we go. Did that just say my name? It did three times, I think. Do you want to speak to Shane? Cut. Guys, you've probably got much better hearing than what we've got. So if you hear anything, what we miss, please let us know. And again, if you've got any questions you want to ask Spirit, please let us know. You can influence this investigation.
Thomas, can you come over to this device and try to talk into it and let us know if you're here? Listen. This device, what I'm holding in my hand, is allowing quite a lot of people all around the world to actually watch what we're doing live as we're doing it. I don't know if you've ever seen this before with other people who's come, Thomas, but this is a very cool piece of equipment, and this here allows you to actually talk to us. We're not wanting to uh, joke about with you or anything like that, unless you want to tell us a joke, but we just want to come and communicate and basically show you the respect what you deserve because you're in the armed forces and if you don't know Andrew here what was your rank in the uh, British Army? I was Lance Corporal in the British Army in the Remy. you know the Remy. And you have a T-boy? T-boy. <laughs> right that's uh, quite a few lights over on there. Right this light. I'll make sure I'm standing away. I'll just show you guys that this device, it's only battery operated, don't give off electricity, electricity and hence it's not affecting that. So, again, like uh, Thomas, we've just had, well, it's going to be called Poppy Day soon, which is like a uh, commemorative of the uh, First World War. Hi Helen, by the way, uh, not spoke to you in a while. Uh, lovely Helen Steele's from York. Yeah. This is a World War II Italian prisoner of war camp, but it's not really the site of type of war camp what you'd see over in Germany. This is one where they're actually, they were free to go out into the local area in the daytime as long as they come back at night. And actually at the end of the World War II, they actually stayed here because they liked it that much. So it was a pretty friendly war camp, to be honest. Uh, yeah, and it was an anti-aircraft uh, base as well. Uh, just out, this is, seems to be some sort of communal area, and just out here was where the guns were actually mounted at that side, and there was a gun mounted just there. You're kitchen up to three hours. Are you by yourself here, Thomas? If you like, you make this the fifth light to go red, please. <coughs> You're not by yourself. There's some there here with you. Yeah, that went and that said yes at the same time. Is there a higher ranking officer here? Try and go to the. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. I don't know about that, but that's going, isn't it? So. Do you think you're still on duty here? <laughs> Can you, can you use this device, guys? Uh, if it, there's more than one of you, so I'll say, guys, I don't know what you want to be as dressed as, but I'm really sorry if I'm not addressing you by your actual rank. Was that Michael? Paul? I don't know, but if you can clearly say your name. Bishop. Do you, do, do, do we have a chaplain? We have a chaplain, yes. Uh, Thomas, can you uh, say your rank, please? Ian. 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 Well, you're a gunner. It's corporal. Well, you're a gunner. As. Guys, in uh, who's watching? Can you uh, can you uh, decipher any of these words? <laughs> you might be hearing this a lot better than what we are. <laughs> Lambs or Ian's. Lambs again. Ian, Carl, they're saying Ian, Neil saying Ian, Stefan saying Carl, Ian, Ian, Ian again. What Ian or Eden? E, Ian, 
I think of a maybe just struggling to say it. Thank you very much. Ian. Paul. Or, or Ian, it, Ian Paul. Are you saying the people's names who worked here? Who were camped here? Can you see a rank, please? Instead of names. Lan, lands as in Ian Corporal, I heard. Ian, uh, Neil said. Ian, definitely. Everyone's saying Ian. Cor 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 Corporal. Yeah. Yourself. Brilliant. Thank you. Appreciate that. So it's a different person to last time, man. Yeah. If can you remember me and Andrew from last time, about probably a year ago? I don't know I don't know how your perception of time is compared to ours, but can you remember me and Andrew visiting here? <coughs> Ask for a man with a brown pipe. Smoking pipe. Is there anyone here with a brown pipe now, near us? There's a brown pipe there, but that's metal. Yeah, there's his hand really. I'm getting no ice on this case yeah. now, like I did last time. No. Nothing. Is there, some, is there someone here with a brown pipe? Corporal. 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 One man's voice answering. Uh, okay, David, th thanks for checking in anyway, mate. I'll speak to you uh, tomorrow or whenever. Well, I asked for a rank and there's definitely not clear. We've had corporal a few times. What would have been the highest rank in this actual base? Uh, probably a major. A major. major. Captain or a major. Was there a captain here? About. Can you say captain, please? What? Everyone's saying corporal. Yeah, corporal's quite clear, And you were corporal, weren't you? I was, yeah. Corporal T boy. So, uh, so then, um, army guys, what's best? Army, navy. Or the RAF. Is the army the best? What do you think about the Navy? What? Do you all know what we think about the Navy? Sorry, Navy boys. <laughs> what did you think about the Navy? They like to eat them. They like, they like to each other. You could tell when the two baby guys in the gang because they're the ones holding hands. <laughs> so then, um, Ian, Corporal, Corporal Ian, can we get a surname and then we can possibly do some research? Could you say that again? Just try it. Could you could you repeat that clearly, please? Yeah. You keep saying Ian, and then what's the? Uh, we we'll have to listen to this back and see if we can get anything. Well, I've got EVP. I'm not making it um, really weird. I have not had one light on this K2 since that's been happening. Helen says you can't say that, Andrew. He's I allowed, he wasn't in the army. I mean, I've never seen him You stole a... I'm you saying, that has not flashed at all since we've been talking to the Echo Boys over there. Yeah. We were both flashing in that lay-by when we both needed the toilet, but... Oh, it was a good lesson, yeah. yeah, um... Andrew's allowed, he, he was on the Falkland Islands uh, stealing penguins, he wasn't in war. <laughs> no. He was just stealing penguins, wasn't he? penguins over 
Which one do you need to have your surname, please? Yeah. So I can address you properly. I was 173, Corporal Alexander. What's your name? Rage. Rage. I might have mind I shot one thinking it was an attack. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Smith. I think he's on about a penguin. <laughs> You're cruel. Well, your mate is. Can I have a surname, please, Ian? Keep saying... Keep saying Ian with control. I might find it easier. Four. Yeah, so we'll stop this. Stop the EDP as well. Right. We'll just see, use a bit of a, other equipment because you never know, the spirit might find it easier to actually use that equipment rather than what we're using. The K2 doesn't seem to be active unless I actually touch it. So it's gone dead there. Everything's different. I've got a Mel meter here, but that's the exact same as the. Uh, K2 meter, it just gives it in numbers rather than uh, red lights. That's for sale, by the way, guys, if, <laughs> if anyone wants it. Uh, I might just keep it, to be honest, as an extra piece of equipment, but um, it's never really used that much. Because when you're portable like this, you can't really carry that much, can you? That's the only problem. So once again guys, anyway, uh, just want to say thank you to everyone what's joined us now and everyone what's actually liked Northern Ghost Hunters. Um, Debbie, who's actually the admin who's watching now, her son Josh, who's actually watching this as well, hello, uh, he came up with the name Got Northern Ghost Hunters uh, and we thought it was quite catchy because they're both down in Dartford in Kent, so to, to them we are Northern. But to the rest of you guys, we're probably just pommies. If, we're, if you're from Australia, what are we from America? I don't know what we'd be nicknamed. Right, what I'm doing here, I'm on, a, on reverse sweep. Where are we at? If you've never seen one of these guys before. I've had a lot of problems with this lately and just managed to get it sorted. So hopefully, let's turn it on. Reverse sweep. And you just... Okay, Ian, are you here, mate? This is just another device. Can you say your name again, please, Ian? I'm just scanning backwards through radio frequencies. This is a PSB7 spirit box. And we always go backwards because uh, when you go forwards, you do it hear words anyway. Well, if you hear if you hear a word and it's on reverse, right now it's starting to talk. And it's going quite fast through the actual radio frequencies. So if you do get a full male voice yeah. going over several frequencies backwards, it's and it's pretty coming, amazing. And it's coming out as pretty much a full conversation. Yeah. You know, it's more likely to be paranormal rather than going forward slow, where you're going to get a BBC Radio Two or whatever. Yeah. Radio Two is that what you listen to? Yeah. Come here, look at them. Bee Gees. Stay alive! It's just another <laughs> down. <laughs> Bit of rancid. Sound, it sounds rancid as well. It's cool, mate. Right? No, 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 no. I like um, Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers? <laughs> you, you look like him with your bloody beard. Eh? You look like him with your beard. Right, come on, Ian, can you speak to us, please? Use our energies. That will radio. Yeah. Oh, you also can change it. To, we're on um, FM there. You can change it to medium mode if you want. To medium mode. It's a bit noisier. So, it's a bit loud, apparently. I'll try to stand a bit further away.
That's too slow, that. Yeah, that's way too slow. We need it at 150. Lowest is 250, it looks a bit too good. It's probably too slow. We're going to get full words, aren't we? It's going to reverse, though. Thomas? Thomas. Ian, are you here? Ian? Ian, come on, please speak to us. We'll come all this way to talk to you, to connect with you. Nicholas says I like it in reverse at 250. 250. Yes. I don't know whether that's uh, on, on FM or AM or medium wave. AM, 250. You don't have the same into you. I like it in reverse, it sounds rude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kind of like hey, I didn't say a word. Is anybody allowed to speak to us here, please? Well, I'm not being funny, but that to me, there's, there was an attack. And remember, guys, this has gone reverse. Is that too loud? Shall I go closer or further away? I don't want to deafen you guys. Is any spirits here, please? What part of the building are we stood in now? What was this room for when you were alive in the material world? Madonna. Yeah. Have you got a reference to Madonna? Yeah. Have you got your cones? <laughs> Only one. <laughs> What was that? Somebody's playing on my hand, huh? I heard it. Is there anything above? Nothing. I heard a rumble then. Is it? I know they're just scratches, they're not. Oh, this is getting better. There's no cobwebs. That's weird, that. Uh, did you feel it as well? I didn't feel nothing, but I heard something. Did you? What, through a spirit box? No, no, it was like. It was over there in that corner, or it's like a, a rumble. I'll, I'll show you guys just so you can see. Um, this is this is a selfie light, by the way. You can put it up, you can clip it onto your phone, so it's just a bit easier to hold. Was somebody trying and to connect to us then? Felt like someone just really lightly, really, really, really lightly, just playing with the top of my hair. And uh, when we just got in here, by, by the way, guys, just as I was bending down to get in here, Andrew was already in here. Some big black ball flew at me, but it possibly was a bat. Uh, uh, I don't know. It went way too fast to be able to even see what it was. It played on my head again. There's yeah. definitely no there's no cobwebs. Can't see uh, anything. Williams! What's Williams? Could it be in Williams? It's... That's radio. Is anybody here with us? Can you please? Can you say something, please? Hey, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Hey, William. Yeah, Nicole, I oh, Nick, Nicole, sorry. Is this Ian Williams? Can you give me a definite yes? Williams? Is that your surname? Are you from Wales? Williams? Is this Corporal Williams? Thanks, Melissa. Is that Thomas Williams? That's what uh, Nicole says. Really? Thomas is a, a name we've had before. Yeah. Thomas Williams? Is it Corporal Thomas Williams? Come on, addressing you now. Corporal Williams.
Right, if the spirit is here, could you go and stand in the corner over where that device is? Because the lights have been dead, only on that one. Can you stand over there, please? If not, tell me why. Come on, I'm ordering you over there now. Did that really say aloud? Or is it all that radio? It's so hard to tell. That's the only problem. Hopefully, these guys can pick it up in the room. Thanks, Helen. That's radio. Yeah. Come on, the, Williams, can the, you talk to us, please? Definitely, William Shane. We got the name last time we were there. Cool. Oh yeah, cause, uh, Michelle's uh, Michelle's a medium from the uh, local area as well. She's a she's actually um, a rescue medium, I believe, Michelle. And uh, I, you were mentored by Derek Akara. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, there's 22 watching now, which is massive to oh, see. Oh, that's amazing! Thank you very much. We've not even been a page for a, a week. So you're only six days. Yep. I'm also a sensitive medium. Brilliant. So if you pick up on anything, was he a soldier? He would have been in the, ha the army, most likely, or a prisoner of war. But if he was a prisoner of war, he shouldn't really be in here. He would not be in and, here. And, and he'd have probably been... Uh, no, he, no, he'd have no, had an Italian name. Yeah. I am actually a descendant from Italy part. Some, some into Irish, some Italian. You can get cream for that, you know. You'll be all right. Okay. You get cream for that. Yeah. yeah. Fix yourself. Oh, mamma mia! <laughs> I can't do it, I tell you. <laughs> Checking in from Ontario, Canada. Hey, Bree, is that Bray? Sorry, I'm not very good with names, Bree. That's Bray. it, Bria. Bria. Checking in from Ontario, in Canada. Wow, Bria. It's a nice name. It's a nice name. Come on, Williams. Please make yourself known. I know it's only early tonight. Mike, Mike Smith's back. <laughs> He's back to his old games. Uh, his, uh, his old BBC computer keeps turning off on him. All oh, right. You've got the best internet in the UK in York, Michael. Uh, it literally is the best internet in the UK because they're testing fibre optic lines. What's about, I think it's like 100 times faster than what any other company can be capable of. And then they'll roll it out to the rest of the country if, it, if it's stable. So you've got no excuse. <laughs> Come on, spirits. If there's any spirits here, can you speak into the device, please? Shall we go back to that? Yeah, you can do a try after a watch, you know? Yeah. Right. We seem to get... A, we, got, we got the Ian a few times on this, so... Um, Should be a bit easier to listen to. Yeah, it's not as loud. You're not going to get radio frequencies or anything through this. This is... Uh, don't use that app from Danny Blackbeard. It's shite and okay, just a random word database. Right. Use the one Anthony Sanchez puts out, SCD1, etc. Far better. I'll just use SB7. Is this is this the app what you're talking about, or is it something? Uh, is, are you talking about a different app? We've had very good results with this, but if you if you tell me what the other one is, what Anthony Sanchez has actually used, we're happy to try it because uh, we we've got a Spanish version of this. And uh, the theory is, if if a spirit what talks only English can make Spanish words sound English, then that's pretty intelligent activity so but if you can tell us the name of the, the actual app Echovax has been proven to work yeah I agree uh, I agree Paul we've had some very very good results in multiple locations with this I've even been told to fuck off sorry for swearing <laughs> that was in uh, in Debbie who's the admin's house <laughs> It's the only time I've ever heard a swear word through it, but that just proves, uh, I can assure you, I don't think them, them words would be in this. No. So, um, Twin Ports Paranormal is enjoying your hunt, and uh, we enjoy you watching as well, guys, because otherwise we'd just be talking to ourselves, which we do anyway, but we normally get tablets for that sort of thing, don't we? Well, I'll try a little bit of this, mate. What is that? Oh, it is. It's just a, it's a what's it called? Electromagnetic field. Basically, it's like a, a K2. It's a yes or no device, sort of a, a device. Yeah, ask them to come towards it. Come up, so it's like the millimeter type thing. But uh, obviously, your centers are on the sides there. 
Uh, you can change your frequency temperatures for the Americans there. You are, it's 51.9 degrees Fahrenheit. And for us uh, Europeans, it's 11.2. So it's quite mild in here. It's cold outside, definitely. And you can do uh, your different uh, readings there. Uh, the, well, the Tulsa one, I can't remember that one. An MG. But I, I, I'll actually use this one. Basically, if you ask Spirit to come towards it, close, you, you do get a reading. And you also, if you walk around like, and you, if you think the place is a bit more, if there's electronics in the room, walk around with this, and uh, you can get a baseline or whatever. Right, I'm just going to put that towards Shane's phone, and <laughs> there you go, kicking off. It, it, yeah. goes, it goes red and it beeps. So well, that's similar to a millimeter. It's, it's very similar and a lot cheaper. How much was that? About twenty quid. Whoa. So that's a yeah. lot cheaper. So if yeah, a millimeter is about one hundred and ten pound. Exactly. Or about one hundred and twenty dollars. Sort of thing. Um, so I've gone around my house, gone around plug sockets and stuff like that, and it does uh, go off at electrical things and. Uh, Elsewhere, and I like the idea of the temperature as well. So, if it doesn't get a temperature drop, you actually can see it. And if you get it, if you press a button, you can press max, and it'll stop it on that, that hold, it'll hold it onto that device. So, if you out on location, wow, it dropped to uh, six degrees, you can press it, it can go back and show you guys, look, crop, crop six degrees. Mm. As you know, so. and we can just check as well, just to see what angle it is. <laughs> you are 15 degrees, well, 29. I'm hot. So that's 11 point something and that's... That's 12, yeah. There's a slight difference, but... Is that staying at the max, though? That's the max it's been? No, I'm going to put max. There, it'll hold. There, it goes onto max there. It'll stay onto its... As I said, I'll just press that there, and it will go onto... It'll stay on its maximum temperature or reading. Then you take it off again. So I'll, I'll just try doing a little bit of session here, see if it, if it does work. So, so seven point one on that. Right, what I'll do is like spirit. If you are here, can you walk towards this device, this different one? And that's moving already. Can you watch it towards this device here to the end? And I won't come to go up, please. Will it flash red then if something it, happens? Really close. It flashes red and it beeps as well. Okay. Will it? How long will it if I go red just to show it? So. Oh, I'm literally touching that you're so out quick. So, right so it, it goes up and down quite quick then. Yeah, the temperature's going up to 13.9, there, 14. Temperature's going up. Okay, we'll try this little experiment then. Spirit, can you make these numbers at the bottom? The temperature drop. Actually, I'll go Fahrenheit. A bit more sensitive. Can you make them go back, like we're on 57.7? Can you make it go down, please? Can you make it go cold in here, please? Making it go up. <laughs> no, you've, got, you've just been thrown at you. have just been a bit awkward now, haven't you? Come on, show me if you can do it. Can you make it go cold, please? Can you drop the temperature? That's going higher. We've got a joker. <laughs> yeah, my, my eyes. There's been always one, isn't there? There's always one. My eyes has been played with again. It's always here, right. but there's, there's nothing above. No. Oh, there, there's a little bit of fun from here. I mean, I'm stood here, though. I'm... I'm Miles away, but take that off. That's Absolutely nothing else here. There's a cobweb here, but I'm stood over here. Uh, I cannot see anything what could be causing that. So I don't want to say go higher because obviously you're thinking, oh, if I do okay. that, I'm going to make it go higher. Okay, spirit likes a bit of gob. Gob? Gob means shouting. If uh, I don't actually tell Americans know, I don't. I don't really. Last time I did that, we were in the um, the ironstone mine up in Cleveland, and yeah. some a lady got pinned to the chair then, and she had to go out mm. pretty ill. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> we're we'll trying to get a bit forceful, like. Yeah. Right, you're in military, aren't you? So am I. I'm higher ranking. Drop that temperature now. I want you to drop that temperature, or you're going to go in a hole. Drop the temperature now. That's a steady 59, isn't it? Mm. Come on. I order you to drop the temperature in this room. Don't disobey me. Just going up. He's been a twat, hasn't he? Sorry to swear. He's been a bit naughty. You bet he could have been higher rank than you. That's probably what it is, you know. If you are higher rank than Andrew and you don't take orders from him, could you prove Do that? You get to stand close to this device and make it go off. Yeah. 
We just want to know who you are. We do respect you, and we really respect what you've done in the war. Because we now where we, where, the, where we actually live, we've won the war. Hitler killed himself, apparently. It may have actually run to Argentina. Yeah, I've seen the programs too. Quite, quite a lot of programs. We don't know. Right, that's fifty-eight point four. It's dropped down eventually uh, a full degree. Can you drop it even further, please? Drop it below. Yeah, it has gone down actually. Yeah, six point two now. Is it? It does feel cold. Can actually, you really? We well, appreciate what you're saying and what you've done in that. Right, that's going to seventy-nine. Uh, Seven point nine. Can you drop it even further, please? Can you get down to fifty-six? Can you change it to 56, please? A couple more degrees. It's 5.9. It's gone from 7 point something. Yes, thank you very much. Can you do it even more? What was that originally? 7.2, 7.1 of that sort of range. It's now at 5.9, 5.8. 6.8. Thank you very much. And technically, it should be getting warmer in this room because and we're in with our body. 55.9. Can we keep it going down, please? 5.6, 5.7. There's no logical explanation what could make a room go cold that quick. No. Overnight it's going to get colder naturally, yeah. but we are inside and our body is quite close and to these devices, so we should technically... Can you keep it going down, please? You haven't left fridge door open, have you? Oh, don't tell me, man. Can you keep it going down, please? That's going back up. Or is it just yeah, it's going back up, 5.7. It's literally gone down like oh, well over a degree. Well, he did drop it and I did ask him to drop it. Because it's easier to warm it up than it is to make it go cold. It's and a pretty know, warm night as well. It's mild. Like, let, it's mild. What's it? Let's go out, outside. It, oh, it's three degrees. So it is warmer in here. Yeah. So that's quite a cool device for you guys. You're going to check that out. Better than combined a millimetre. millimetre. So it's very. You, you find it in the internet. I always find cheap. Yeah. So. Put, uh, put a link on for people. Yeah, we'll do. We'll Sorry, I'm yeah. shining my uh, torch. That's a really good device. And again, if you've only just joined us, get yourself one of these watches. Don't use it for the watch because it's crap. But it's got a light, which is very, very powerful. It's blinding. And um, I could actually break my camera doing that. But um, it's very, very powerful. And you've then got a hand free now. And wherever you point, there you go. So if you go in for a wee and you're shaking afterwards, it's going to look very weird, but... What about going down stairs? Yeah. Fancy that? Does anybody else reckon we should go downstairs? Andrew got attacked downstairs last time. Well, he got affected quite... I was affected. You made That's quite the first Ill. time ever I've been affected. And we actually got that weird, like, light anomaly coming from your body as well. If you That's on Neil Cook, who's watching GSI. It's one of the YouTube videos on there, and I think it'll be on the Facebook page from when me and Andrew went live about November, December time last year. Yeah. Something like that. I remember you had a Christmas tree up, so it'll have been December, won't it? Um, I use those strap-on headlights. You use strap-ons as well, don't you? Only to an assist. I tell you what, I reckon we should go downstairs. Yeah, let's uh, get your phone and everything. Shall we? Um, shall we go back live in a few minutes, or do you want to watch us fumbling around? I've got a hell of a lot of data, but do you want to? I'll pass you this phone so I can get up because it's pretty. pretty That's the way up. There you go. Back again, guys. Sorry, so, technical fault. Uh, it's called a thumb. Yeah. There you go. You press Bixby. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Galaxy S8. So uh, it's got that annoying button on the side called Bixby, which tries to take over your phone. It's gone down. How are you for charge? The only other thing I recommend is a, a good power bank. I've just plugged in one into the bottom of my phone now. I've got two power banks on me. You can get one for about uh, £15, £20. Get a pretty decent one. This will charge your phone fully about four or five times. Um, then you're just not going to run out of battery on location. When Do you, you want to turn that light down? I'll show you it here. Yeah, well, 
Nah, do it in the dark. Do it in the dark. So we'll go underground. Well, not underground, but we're still on, on the top of a massive hill, if you can see. Ah, oh, Neil, thanks for sharing the uh, the original, the, the part one. That's uh, the one you can see. It, there's a Facebook Live what's been pasted on, not live, almost live, <laughs> about a year ago. And then the, this video footage from the camera as well. And it's the video footage, probably the last, like, ten minutes or so, where we walked in here and Andrew up there basically got affected quite badly. Yeah, and uh, it, when it was cleared off me, it was virtually instant that that would be pretty crazy. A cobweb there, or is it my, what we call a spirit cobweb? I can't really see one. I walk through one anyway. But I can, I can tell you though, this is nowhere near as negative feeling as it was last time we was here. That tip orientator source, where we did the, the last session, is upstairs on that side here. And this is right beneath where the gunnery was, where we first came when we first started this session. What, what have you brought down here? Have you brought the echo lock something? I've got the phone. Uh, I've got that uh, no meter thing. Have you got the speaker? Uh, I thought you had the speaker. Uh, no. Nope. We'll go get it. We'll get it in. Well, I'll, st I'll sit down here because I'm in my own clothes, so I can. I am in my own car, though. But I'll sit down here on my own and see what happens. If you can see through there as well, there's a hole in the ceiling just there. That's where the gun mounted through, and it would have been fixed in this area here. So, should ask for some protection, Andrew. Um, he's brought some, he says, he, uh, but he was being rude when he said it. Is there anyone here, apart from Andrew, who's upstairs, who wants to come and do something in this room now? I'm in on my own. I do have protection from my spirit team. I say team because I don't know how many there is, and I don't know... If it's male or female, my guide. Two children, Jack and John, and a, and a nurse, Mary. We picked up a man down there with part of his head missing and died when he came into in a fireball with a hair with, a, with an aircraft. Wow. So that could there was an air crash just just over the hill, somewhere around here. He believed he was in Lincolnshire, which is about fifty mile east <laughs> that way. Um, but he actually was over Lancashire going into Yorkshire. We're in West Yorkshire now, which is practically north central England sort of thing. London's about three and a half hours south. Edinburgh is about four hours north. Glasgow, again, don't go there. No, I'm only kidding. It's a lovely place. Wales is about one and a half hours to the west and slightly south, but that's only North Wales. Got another little app here uh, downloaded. Like, it looked interesting. Never used it before on the location. Basically, Again, it's a yes no, it's a, it's a touch sensitive screen, you literally touch it, and it's obviously connected to the, to the Bluetooth speaker there, and it, it's very sensitive. Very sensitive, you can adjust the sensitivity to high, that literally, I'm just, I can barely feel that I'm touching it. What's so, that called? It's called Spirit Light 2, very simple device, instead of paying stupid money for, um, Devices where you, people sell them on the internet. Just download the apps, give them a go. They might be good, might be not. But this one I found really good because it basically, you know, it's trying to turn your torch on, asking you to touch the screen, and it's so sensitive. And obviously, you can actually do that. It's uh, quite good. So you, you can, again, you can get spirit to touch that. Okay. Was that get out? Oh, sorry. Oh, it's my um, what is it? player. Jesus! Just switch itself on. What the what? 
I thought, we're coming through speaker, and I know, how was that possible? How could you have knocked that? I don't know, my pocket was off, my pocket. Yeah. Oh, Jane says Lancashire's an hour away, but we don't want to mention Lancashire. No, no, it's somewhere around... Yeah, it's just to the other side of the Pennines. It's a bit what's moved off on the map. Yeah. So, uh, again, we can do a little session on that, see if anything gets that. Uh, I'll put it out somewhere where it's clean. Beside that piece of poo. <sighs> again, like... We are now being watched from down there. I don't know by who. If anyone else is more sensitive than I am, I just know someone is down there. It doesn't feel anywhere near as negative as it did last time when Andrew was affected. Are these apps in Samsung Play Store? They're in Google Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah Helen. Give it a go. Yeah. If you don't like it, it's free. We can't, we can't say about the App Store for Apple, but we know for Android, if you go on the Google Play, the little triangle symbol, Play Store, everything will be on there. Echo boxes, but that is about £18. Yeah, you can down here. i tell you what, I, I'm what I like to work here because you just have to duck down constantly. Do you have a right neck cake? I suppose you didn't have any choice unless you were like a coal miner or a teacher or so something else. Right, is any spirits here? If they are, can you touch that little screen, what's down there please? It won't harm, it won't hurt you. I've just been told to walk down to the end on my own. Go for it mate. Just light me up. Oh yeah, sorry dude. It won't actually show on the uh, camera. No, 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 no. no. What's What's happened? I, where, where am I supposed to touch you? Um, just the sides. No, don't touch the screen because the entire thing's a screen. I'm not in my best clothes. Never come ghost hunting in nice clothes. Because it's just the screen, just more. Not yeah. close to it. If I'm just down in the ramp. So Spirit, if you're here with us now and you want to communicate, this is the way you can do it. You can also affect Andrew again. That's a cow. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I had to listen then. Um, but if you also uh, touch either of these, you can make these light up without hardly using energy, energy whatsoever. You can drain the energy from the phone from this device to actually do this. But if you want to try to affect us, like you did last time, we're back to waste so and we'll come down here. Why does it feel Does safe? anyone else sense anything near me? I did, but then some of that come down here was gone. Are you sensing anything behind me? No. Right. Um, Michelle, you said that if you're still on, you said that someone got their head blown away. When I was literally above, just as I started like preparing myself for this, meditating, calming myself down, opening my chakras up, if anyone's spiritual, you'll know what I mean. Um, all my throat just literally went as if it were like the, the most sore it's been in a hell of a long time. But then, as soon as I acknowledged it in my head, so, oh God, I'm getting sore throat, that's definitely not me. That's obviously the spirit world what's doing that. It went instantly. So, somebody had some sort of major illness in that area, possibly throat cancer or something, or someone got injured there. Did you hear that? Then? I heard that, yeah. This, what, some of the objects on the floor here just got moved, didn't it? Yeah. So, is that an acknowledgement that I'm right about your throat? Is that why you just moved something over there? We could hear you, just slightly moving around. I can... You are, you know, you're back now. Good. So, 
we, we don't mean you any harm, we're here just to communicate with you. We just, we're literally trying to prove there is a life after death. And all the guys what are watching along with us on this device, they all want to know the same thing. So you can help us prove that if you come forward. We urge you to do something over in this sort of direction where my torch beam is. I feel you're probably around here now. I don't know anything about you. You heard it again then? That sounds like dripping that mate. Do you reckon? To the right where I'm going to that wall. Right in this corner. Other side mate. Sorry. It's, it was, yeah. it sounds something damping on that, yeah. It coming from that tube, mate. Yeah. yeah. Damp Yeah, that's all that was. It didn't feel like you were over there anyway, but I like, one more here, where the, where the spray was. You weren't actually over there. Right. Yeah, that's where the sand was, isn't it? Come on, Spirit, if you're here, can you please contact us? Can you make something and make a large noise? There's plenty of objects here you can throw. Or there's a screen in front of it here. If you touch it, it will light up when you were uh, uh, lighting on this to the left as you're looking, light up to your left. That's where, where Shane was stood at where I'm trying to move my weak torch around here. There's a when light we, on when we arrived here, we did see someone probably my, my sort of height, a lot slimmer than me. You would have been if you were in army, running, darting towards this building from over there. Are you in here now? You want to come and step forward? Are you the one who's actually got some sort of something wrong with your throat? Is that where you got injured or is that some sort of illness? It's not good, I've been See, I've got a weak torch, it's focusing quite hard there. If you get a, a flash down the bottom left, that's the uh, microphone, uh, the Bluetooth microphone, by the way. Yeah, I'll change the speaker. Speaking, so there's a bird nest here as well. So is it right above me? There's no bird in there. Oh, yeah. No, it could even be a bat nest. Yeah, it's definitely a bird. I don't know the bats have nests. No, they don't go from trees. Oh, it just doesn't feel as. No, it's impressive. No. Nothing. Uh, Is there anyone new who's watching? Uh, anyone we've got, we've got, anything? We've got Michelle Lee um, down about. Do you want to have a look through our yeah, mate. comments? Yeah. We'll leave, we'll leave you looking down here, see okay. if you see anything. We are working on getting a device what enables us to do this in night vision so we don't have to have all the torches and everything. Um, I'll just scroll back up a bit. Yeah, Amazon sold in 1999. I think I've gone too far. Neil shared uh, power bank link, so thank you. Um, Lancashire's an hour away, so that's the last time I looked. Um, sit there, Andrew, in the middle. See if you pick anything up at either end of the room. Oh, Helen, you're going to download one. The floor may be full of dirt. I feel it was more space. So I'm just reading all your comments guys just to make sure light, anom light anomalies on the left as you're looking Yes He's there Shane Maybe that was What I was feeling Yes he is I also picked up on three soldiers They were smoking I picked up on a nurse Mary She was walking up and down where you are Busy doing her work, busy doing her work, and the soldiers, I could see what she was wearing. She was tending to the wounded. Come on, Spirit, is everybody here? Can you come and talk to me, please? So behind me is just, there's no way in, apart from if I you're if a, I see, a rat. I can listen to you. 
no cobwebs above me what's going to affect me in any way. This is pretty much steel reinforced, isn't it? Um, probably could have we've stood a bomb. What do you reckon? That's what it's built for. Right, temperature down here is temperature 3.2 Fahrenheit, that is, for the Americans. Okay. Whereas European, 22.9, so it's quite mild. 8.3. 8.5, it's slightly cooler up where you are, but you're never door. The door's just behind me just there. Your... That's my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's red hot, it went to nine. <laughs> Yeah, you're 11.5. Uh, I was feeling sick earlier. The noise, by the way, was the Bluetooth speaker. Andrew's just disconnected from it because he's quite far away now. Um, Is that the K2 if you see that? Yeah, I can. If it lights up, it will light up pretty well. You can just see the K2 in front of Andrew. The K2's there, uh, and I got me an EVP recorder there. So, record this session, I'll do a tomorrow, have a review. Right, 69.4, that's come down quite a lot actually. You are back at the door though, as well, yeah, so. Yeah, true. Yeah, I, I think the problem is doing like a the temperature drop thing here because of the door. A couple of portholes on the side there. Shall we try to put Echo Watch on and see if we can get Nurse, yeah, Ma right. Nurse Mary or Thomas to come back, or Ian? Oh, Williams, who work at his. Yeah, Mr. Williams. But I'll leave that down here, that. K2. I've got to say, this is probably the, co the coolest hobby in ever. Yeah, definitely. I know people knock it in that and non-believers, it's fine, but at least you get some really good locations and... Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Do you think it was water again? No. It was too loud? It was. Way too loud? I like that. Um, did you guys have like a bang down there? Can you do that again, please? There's a cow in the background yeah, really far away. Can you make that noise again, please? That's a drip down the side of me. It's a plastic bottle. Yeah. Well, that you, or? No, no, just uh... You didn't touch that on the way down, you watched down the middle. Yeah, no, touch my thumb, touch my thumb. Mm. That's something, it's a little bit. Well, I'm just connecting to the Bluetooth now, so you get some noises. I'll just connect to the What, we, what guys, what we're doing, on uh, this is quite a long investigation and what we're wanting to show you is this is real life. This is not ghost, this is not ghost adventures. This is not, this is not uh, most haunted or fake haunted or whatever you want to call it. This is real. This is what it's actually like if you come on an investigation with us. You're not seeing any gimmicks, you're not seeing any... Nothing at all, Crack. no fancy, yeah, nothing making, no faking, no lacquery, yeah. wires hidden anywhere to make noises and things move. Yeah, and this what? Is it. This is what we do. Yeah, this is, big, it's basic, exactly. Go something. And, and the thing is, as well, you've done this entire journey with us. Sometimes things don't happen for about an hour, and then all of a sudden you get absolute loads of things happening. You've got full body apparitions and everything. It's usually but, when you're going home. Yeah. Just but then, up, rough now, then, but then sometimes. Somebody's playing my my head now. Uh, is there any? No cobwebs around that. Uh, oh, sorry, no, I've already there. checked. Yeah. Nothing. But um, that that's the thing. You could be going for absolutely hours and nothing happens whatsoever. Are you touching Shane's head? Okay. Are you touching Shane's head right now? Yeah, it does t take a hell of a lot of patience. This is what we're wanting to show you. You're with us for the entire journey. We're not editing this. We're doing this live. You guys can influence this. We don't want to be putting edited videos up where we only give you the best five minutes of a three-hour investigation. We want you to actually see what happens. When they're doing these ghost adventures episodes, it's taking them three days to film some of it. Yep. That's it, that, that's what we're doing, just, we're, we're, exactly what it says in the tin, ghost hunting. We're northern ghost hunters. We're going to go to locations, 
uh, well-known ones, not so well-known ones, see if we can connect with Spirit by some of the devices, we've only got a few now, but uh, obviously it's just like a, a quick uh, get out and just get, introduce yourselves to, yeah. to the world, to the paranormal world. Uh, again, I well, thank uh, everybody for uh, liking us and joining us on this journey and uh, hopefully we're going to find some crazy stuff and uh, have a laugh, that's the main thing, enjoy it. That's what we're here for, we're there with the big blue thumbs up and everything, uh, as, as little posters were done. Uh, we're here for a laugh, and enjoy it. it. Yeah, it's a serious matter, but it, you get people who make it so serious, like um, on the TV, and they're all wearing black, and they're all, well, wearing black. <laughs> they're all, they're all doing the, um, the, the, making it terrified, making it like Exorcist or something like that, out of a haunted movie. It's not like that. Yeah. Did you ever? It's allowed. Right, Spirit, uh, hopefully that, because we've gone off subject, that you might be... Yeah. Well said, Anton Andrew, Neil says. It's, uh, it's no gimmicks, here we are, and this is what we do. Uh, Ask them, please. Can you please step forward? Can you come towards that light on what's down on? What shape is turning that light on, please? I heard something, they say. I heard oh. that. There's no one here in the middle of a farmer's oh, field. Oh, we've got a couple of cows around the back. If someone does walk in from the living world, I'm going to absolutely shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Can you come step forward, please, Spirit? Can you come towards and talk to us? We respect your military career and what you did for our country. That was a cow in the yeah. background. Please, Spirit, talk to us. We'll come here with utmost respect for yourselves. What I can say is the cows are not in this field whatsoever, so there's no way that it's um, inside here no. or you would see them. Well, or you'd see me getting it, a barbecue ready. It'll be amplified because it works echoing. It's really like a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> here is the cow. Oh. Right. Mary, are you the nurse? What we can possibly hear doing your work down there? Um, Michelle Lee uh, has picked up on you. Can we pick up on Mary? Is that who it is who's actually down there? I have a watch that light down there, Mary, or speak to us in this device in my hand. The only problem is she might be really... Was she intelligent or residual, uh, Michelle, when you were here? Uh, if, guys, if you don't know the, the difference, uh, if, if you're new, uh, intelligent are the ones what we can actually interact with. Residual are more, Just a, a bit like a tape recording, what happened in this building, the mind come out on yeah. prominent date, like... That's yeah, allowed. Yeah, and right somewhere here right. as well. Are you here now, spirits? Can you come and talk to us, please? It came that direction there. Down at the bottom, but that could have been the water. Can you say that again, please? Uh, Nick, Mike Smith's pleading, pledging his love for Helen Steele's. Again? Go on, lads, go on. Paul and Smith, thank you for joining us. Great for you guys. I've got to go at night, Nicole, later, everyone. Thanks. Uh, if you've got anything to share from your uh, page or whoever you're part of, mate, feel free to share it. Um, if you send us a, a private message, we'll share it onto our wall. We believe in sharing everything. If any of you guys has got evidence you want to share, you can feel free to share that with us and we'll add it on for you. Please come forward, Spirit. We're here to talk. We'll be going soon. Is there anything you'd like to say to us? You hear that, Anne? Yeah. Can Is you sense nothing here? No, nothing whatsoever. That's, that's what... It feels like they're outside. To be honest, yeah. that and it sounded like that were outside. So we'll go have a look. Right? Yeah, I've Just outside of the door. What have I got here? What the 
hell was that? Yeah. That's me. So we're outside. We're now in the middle of the field. That's Huddersfield over there, where you can see the lights. That's Castle Hill, that's a what? It's a memorial for Queen Victoria, is it? Yeah. Someone died falling from it. I'm so glad I put boots on. <laughs> So this is a nap, what was it called? Na okay, so this was like the canteen. Is anybody here having a dinner? Or is everybody having a party? Is everybody having a beer? There's nothing wrong having a beer at the times when you lived. No, I never knew that, Neil. I've not done any live streams for... Quite a while though, I'll, I'll have to have a look because it's all changed Facebook. Everything's gone to the bottom now, it's quite annoying. I've got that like, used to all the notifications at the top and they've all moved. I don't know about the guys on Apple, but Android Facebook's got quite annoying recently. Is anybody here with us? I'll just put this in my pocket. That's me. Is Williams here? Williams, are you here? Oh, sorry, press the button again. <laughs> Literally just full of mud in here. But the windows are still here, the window frames. Am I stuck now? I've got a feeling this is This feels like it's going to be the, um, the bar. Am I right? Is this the bar area? This is the seating area and the dancing area? Come on, spirit, please talk to me. Is, is this where you used to dance? Or have a few beer fights? That's me. It's literally the floor is just covered. It's a shame really. Such an historical place. Yeah, left the ruin. Yeah. Really is an absolute shame, isn't it? What do you think about the people who paint on these walls here? Paint the names. Does it anger you? Yes. Are they little kids that do this? Let's see if we can turn it off. There we go, it's fine. What sort of music did you listen to here? Can you remember the music they played? You listen to Glenn Miller? Was that Miller? Glenn, Glenn Miller. Did anybody hear that? Did it say Miller? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what about... He died in a plane crash. But I don't know if you'll Matthew. know that. Matthew. 
Come on, think of the tunes. Vera Lynn. Remember Vera? On the white cliffs of Dover? Heard Miller, yes. I thought so. Who sang so long way to Tipperary? <laughs> this is your uh, music, mate. What island? Yeah. Sing it, I don't know it. My granny would. I really don't want to sing, but I don't. No, don't I don't sing. <laughs> We'll meet <laughs> again. Don't know. I don't want to disrespect them because I'm a really bad singer and I just want them to know that we're here to. He definitely is. A bad singer. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be singing the Raisin next to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit modern. <laughs> Thomas, are you here again? Please sing. No. No. <laughs> Who's that? Pennsylvania, uh, Pennsylvania 6 5000. Mm. Come on, Spirit. Are you here now? Can you say, say your name, please? My name's Andrew. This is Shane. If anyone doesn't know, know, Pennsylvania 65,000 is one of, one of the Glenn oh, Miller okay. songs. Oh, are they classed as Glenn? A, Glenn, yeah. yeah. Are, they, are they classed as yeah. songs or uh, pieces of music? Yep. Yeah. Music. <coughs> Thank you. Did you like Glenn? Glenn Miller. Hi, Mark. Yeah. Mark Coulter does actually uh, create his own hat apps on the app store and also he's got his own spirit boxes which he, he builds. has i've seen him i've seen him is he pretty, there now is he yeah he is it Ooh, pre, can we have a photo. free one please <laughs> <laughs> cheeky oh. <laughs> you see that's uh god works in mysterious ways so they're saying you went flying when you no, said joking. that <laughs> i'm not really <laughs> yeah i've seen him they look good um i'd like to see one in person take truth see how good they are give them a go as you i don't mind Same here, I would sing too. Sing. Can't. Who's singing? Who wants to Everyone sing? wants us to sing. Oh, it? way, man. You think, will it actually work? I really don't want to sing. This is going to be edited out and it's going to be on YouTube and we slow down and we're going to look like robots. We don't no, edit. but everybody else will. Oh, yeah. Make us sound like right ghost hunters who can't sing. If any of you guys want to come along next time and you want to sing. Please do. Helen, you're a good singer. Yeah, we've seen you dancing as well. It does work a lot. Oh, please sing something. Who's that? Oh, God. Who was, who was that to sing? Mary. Mary! What? What was that? I don't know. I don't know if you picked that up. I'll do it. Go on then. We'll, we'll meet again. again. Don't know where, don't, don't know me. where, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Too much. Yeah, we scared them. Be yeah. right back. <laughs> <laughs> What's Neil say? Uh, mixing Helen dance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're both coming to spoff off with us, aren't you, Mick and uh, Helen? We were going to go there, but you guys voted for here. Oh, no, oh, smiley God. faces, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Bria. Come on, Spirit. Look, you've heard us sing. Can we hear you sing? Did you like us singing? Was our singing good? Was our singing good? Did you enjoy that? No. No. <laughs> That's a serious no. We we didn't enjoy it either, to no. be honest. <laughs> Wasn't too bad at all. <laughs> Glenn Miller's signature tune was Moonlight Serenade, yeah. I'm not sure of that one. I really like Glenn Miller, actually. He's a chill outside guy. 
You can't really sing his songs, they were all uh, instrumental, <coughs> mainly. No. So, well, guys, when we finish anyway, could you please share and like this, please? Because, uh, as I said, this is our first time out and uh, we're trying to get a self established and let you guys know what we are and what we're doing and uh, where we want to achieve. Basically, we want to achieve nothing and just enjoy self and prove spirit. And uh, let, hope you guys come along with us. Um, this is a hobby, by the way. We do work full time. Yeah. He works ridiculously long hours. But, hence the beard. Yeah. Being so, uh, we do this. Uh, families come as priority, priority and then this time. is this First is our hobby every but every time we do it you guys will be with us so what now where do you want to go or what do you do thanks uh, Bria here we go back to where we started and see yeah. if we can get well, Thomas so and not sing her but no, we can no, ask, about, ask about Glenn Miller you can just see in the distance that's how far away the road is at the other side of the field. Oh, Which way are we going? This way on this path. Oh, we, we haven't left anything here, have we? In there, no. Is anybody out here patrolling with us? We were that direction earlier when I, I saw like a black mass really quickly out of the corner of me. I run into the, bit, the main building, which is over there. You guys can't see it. We will go night vision on this. I tried to work something out earlier on in the week, but there's an, one more adapter what I need from my camera, which makes it work on my phone. Um, so as soon as I get that, we'll be able to do this in night vision and you'll have a much better view. And the sound will increase as well. It's all the atmosphere here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Look. Bird, it? Yeah, it sounded like it was screaming. Uh, <laughs> Great, you should try a cool to us box on Google Play. Yeah. I've already got that installed actually, but I'm I'm live. I don't think Andrew's got it installed on his. He is signed into my uh, Gmail, so he can uh, download uh, Echo Vox on mine. No point paying twice. You know I'm tight as oats. <laughs> If you start sending emails declaring your love for any of my friends, though. So. <laughs> so we're back where we started. This is the main area. That's where the gun was mounted in this like round sort of turret area, I suppose. And then all the way round, we're literally on the top of a hill. Over there, there's some sort of mast. But it's probably about 10 mile away. It looks a lot closer. I'd say that's probably about 10 mile away as well. That's that's where all the TV signal for most of Yorkshire comes from. But as you've seen, it's not really affecting any of our EMF readers or anything. And that one, it's, that's nothing. I don't even think it's got electricity. That's just a monument for Queen Victoria. By the way, Glenn Miller didn't sing, he was a band leader. He was. He was indeed. He was very again. One time in band camp. One time in band camp. He got out of flute. <laughs> <laughs> I love that yeah, I used to love American Pie. So Thomas, Williams, we've had Corporal, we've heard the name Mary, we've heard, we've heard the name Ian, Are any of you here now? And you want to come and communicate with us? If anyone's wondering, this is Echo Vox. You can get it from the Google Play Store. It's about £17. It's just the classic version. There's a, there's a more expensive £24 version. That'd probably be about $28. I don't really know the value of the pound against dollar these days because of the Brexit. But um, And this is just a Bluetooth speaker, which was about £11. And it just makes everything a lot more amplified. Yeah. 
I noticed you left just as we uh, sang, Nicole. Um, we knew that bad. Beautiful scenery. Yeah, it is. It's absolutely lovely. This area. It's um. We're close to uh, Wakefield, Huddersfield, Leeds. We're surrounded, and Dewsbury, we're surrounded by all of that area. Click Eaton, I think that's where Michelle Lee's from, that sort of area. Is that where any of you guys are from, Spirit? Is that, were you living in Leeds or Dewsbury or Wakefield? Huddersfield? Huddersfield, is that what you're trying to say? Can you tell us where you are actually from? Ian, are you back, Ian? Are you from Huddersfield? Or were you from further away and deployed here? No. No. Where were you from? Dewsbury? Uh, Harbury? Yeah. Yes. That's Harbury is about probably yeah. 10 miles away from here. It's a, a really okay. nice area of Wakefield. Yeah. Is that where you're from? Could you say it clearly again, yeah. please, Ian? Yeah. Ian or Corporal Ian, <laughs> Corporal Williams, I want to make sure I get your name uh, right. Uh, Williams. Williams. Is that what he said then? Can you guys confirm? Here, heard, no, and yes. Where's Mick gone, the, that blooming computer? <laughs> cool. We never got Ian last time, did we? No. We got Thomas and then we got some pretty... Oh, to be fair, he could have been the one what affected you last time, but now we've come with... We've explained who we are. But before we came, yep. went live, I did do a call out and explain just who we were and what we were doing and the fact that we weren't actually no. here uh, with any disrespect. We, did, we weren't wanting to go on their territory. The fact that Andrew was actually in the army because last time we think because we didn't address them to their ranking of the army, they got pretty mad and that's why Andrew being a, 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 a what was you a lance corporal? Andrew was a lance corporal and he probably went into a sergeant's area or something like that and annoyed them because that's what would have happened actually if that happened in real life so maybe that's why you were getting affected because we'll only know when we die. What's on, what do you reckon we're on there? I'm not sure. It's got, definitely got railings at the side, the holes. And uh, I'm not sure what that could be. Because that's obviously a door. Right. There's been a roof over that. Right. I think possibly. Well, look out, folks. Observation with the uh, yep. goggles. I don't think, I don't think anywhere around here got bombed. No, not really. Sheffield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Holded, which is about an hour and 20 minutes uh, east. Let's see if this is right. Is, this is this where you used to look out for the aeroplanes up here? Is this the lookout place? If it is, can you come towards this device and the numbers go up, please? Too far. Yeah, I can see it if it goes red, yeah. If you understand, please come towards the light. It is quite high up, but we we're protected as well. I'm trying to keep the phone and the mic down um behind this because come or did that say a different word? <laughs> uh, but it's we're pretty like enclosed and we are actually uh, there's quite a lot of hills as well around so it's there was a plane crash if any of you have joined us uh, somewhere around this area we're in uh, west yorkshire lancashire's that way um south yorkshire's that way north yorkshire's quite a bit that way and um 
This is the biggest county in England, uh, the best county in the UK. <laughs> God's own country, they call it. And uh, the pilot was flying over here and he believed he was actually in Lincolnshire, which is down below South Yorkshire. And then it goes into Nottinghamshire and Cambridgeshire and then it goes towards London area. Um, he believed he was in Lincolnshire and he just basically hit the side of the mountain or a, a hill. Because Lincolnshire is quite flat, that's the farming area for the country. We've not got a full moon today. I'm originally from Bradford. Where are you now, Mark? It'd be pretty cool to bring one of your spirit boxes on one of our investigations to actually uh, see it work with all the guys. Steady, Ian, are you still here now? <laughs> Colville, Leicestershire. It's about an hour and 15 minutes away, something like that. I'm from California, nice. I'd love to uh, go to California. The nearest I've been is Nevada and Arizona. Sounds like he's trying to say some words, doesn't it? Yeah, that's why I'm just trying to keep quiet to let him yeah. talk. But Have you got a message? Have you, do you want to say something to us? If it's not Ian, could you tell us your name? Luffy. Luffy. Fifty. Not. Fifty. <laughs> or have I trying to say Luftwaffe? <laughs> because that's what you'd have been trying to keep an eye out of. There's an aeroplane jump above us now as well. I was saying that. Yeah, is that, do you think that aeroplane is a Luftwaffe? Yeah. One of the Messerschmitts, or however you pronounce it. What about the fucker? What the hell? You're like, like, yeah. yeah. Leave. Leave. Is that what you want us to do? Leave? Give, give a definite yes for a leave. <laughs> yes. Yes. Why do you want us, why, why do you want us to leave? We, we will respect it. We will go. No. It's that voice there. That deep man's voice. So, are you, are you, can you tell us your name and who you are, and then, so we know who it is who actually wants us to leave, and if you do clearly do that, then we will go, we will respect what you're asking. <coughs> At night, Tanya. Yeah, <coughs> yeah we've been on... Uh, 22.44, we've been on the number 45. Yeah. Shall we knock it on the head, Dan? Yeah. Well, we've been asked to leave, so... Um, it's getting late here anyway. Can you tell us to leave one more bye. time? And if you do, we will say bye, and then we will... Uh, you're, get, you're, get, you're getting that, that went, increase. That, that went to 20. And, uh, and he just said now on here. Going to two. That's been on zero all the time. Do you want us to leave? No. Well, we're going to have to leave because we're absolutely freezing. It's getting cold. And I've got my subway to eat when I get back. He's stood here wherever he is. He's gone now. Because I've just gone, I did a 360. Ellen thought he said Luftwaffe as well. 32. Oh, that, that could be me. Oh, quite possibly. L Luftwaffe, do you not like the Luftwaffe? <laughs> Do you not like the Nazis? Airplanes. 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 Yeah, that's very relevant for you. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you are, an anti-aircraft area. You can see why. It's yeah. a good skyline, aren't you? It is. You don't, you don't, is that what you're doing? Defending Britain from yeah. the Germans? You know, we won the war, don't you? 
I don't, I don't know if you died before the war ended or not, but it did actually end. We won. Yep. When was it? 1940. 1949, wasn't it? 45. What? It? I don't. 45 on the 6th of July. Bloody hell. Nice one. Yes. Does anyone know uh, the exact dates of when uh, D Day was? And um, so anyway, uh, we, we're going to be leaving you in a minute. I just want you to know we did actually win the war. Hitler, I don't know if you know, he had, he's got a girlfriend called Ava, Ava Braun. He, he married her in his bunker in Berlin, right? He married her in his bunker. He then poisoned her and his Alsatian dog. And then I believe he shot himself in the head. And the, the Russians and the Americans found him burnt, apparently. He could have actually escaped Berlin the day before on a plane, got to Tenerife, which is one of the Canary Islands, in a submarine and then gone across to Argentina. But we don't know. I don't think we ever will know. But there are the two options. Hitler killed himself or Hitler escaped to Argentina. And the yep. Italians, they... Uh, Stayed here after the war because they love this area, but I can understand why because it's beautiful and we treated the Italians pretty well to see how they uh, treated us. <laughs> you can hear the owl as well, Ellen. Yeah, so um, yeah, June the 6th, 1944, D Day. Thank you. Some that just hit me on the head, but like, we're outside, so I can't rule anything out, but um. Yeah, so, yeah, we, I, thank you, this has been a solid oh, that's me. 20, almost, like, all the way, all the way through the entire night, so, uh, just, there we go, so you can actually see us, so, um, thank you so much for joining us, this has been, we've, we've been doing live streams with GSI for a while, but uh, we, we weren't wanting to do it a bit more casually, uh, we don't, we don't want to be an event company or no. anything like that, we've, as, priorities as families and then um but this is what we want to do in our spare time and uh we thought we'd be the northern ghost hunters as we are northern we're both yorkshire lads yeah and uh we were did you have that yorkshire what? then yeah. i heard that <laughs> it actually sounded like in a yorkshire accent as well did you just hear the echo back say yorkshire then brilliant yeah thank you thank, thank you Brilliant, thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. So you're listening as well, are you, Spirits? But we're, we're talking to a lot of people all over the world on this device here, um, and they're listening as well. And, yep, we're from Yorkshire. I'm born in Castleford, which is just over that way, about 15 mile. No, uh, you're born in Nottingley, which is about probably 20 mile. And uh, I now live in Pontefract, and you live in Barnsley. So you... Okay. Oh, local. Local, is yeah. that what you just said? Yeah. So that's where we're from. And, it, and the year now is 2017. So, thank you very much. Yeah, I heard that Yorkshire. That's, cool. That is cool. Cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You didn't say you're Lancashire, though, did you? No. No. We don't like Lancashire very much. That. Although we all were on the same side in the war. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, yeah, I'm in uh, South California. Wow. Nice. But it's a bit warmer than here. Just a lot. Yeah. Right, guys, I just uh, want to thank you all again for tuning in and watching us. Like, it's been a steady stream, and it's uh, my nose is running, sorry about that. But it's been a really good night, great introduction to Northern Ghost Hunters. I'll stop that. Look. You see what you're doing? Thank you, Spirits, uh, for joining us tonight and uh, helping communicate and uh, giving yeah, the guys who's watching boys. this. Um, some interesting viewing. We've had some yeah, responses. We have. Let's put that down. And thank you guys for joining us. And uh, 
tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, when, Wednesday the eighth of uh, November, we will be a week old as Northern Ghost Hunters, and we're Full almost week. almost at eight hundred. Uh, and thank you all, you guys, already. for doing that. Yeah. So thank you very much. Yep. So uh, very impressed. Thank you very much, guys, and uh, we love you all. Yeah, and bid you good night and uh, sweet dreams. And uh, the ghosts are under your bed and in the cupboards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sleep well. Thanks, Debbie, Tell for the children. admin. <laughs> See, See you. Bye-bye.